Uh, Brady, what were your thoughts when you found out that the players on IR were not going to be allowed to be in that team photo? I get both sides. You know, I understand from the team's perspective, they're trying to just fit the schedule in as good as they can, and they're trying not to really mess up the ebb flow and the rhythm of a, of a game week. But at the same time, I can see some other injured guys who have given up years of blood, sweat, and tears for the organization to have one day their team or be a part of a team photo that accompanies all the rest of the championship caliber teams of the Green Bay Packer history. So I get both sides, of it, you know, and it's great how it's all worked out because everybody's going to not only get their cake, but we're going to eat it too. Because not <laughs> only does the, you know, the, the team get to not really have their schedule messed up, and the players, uh, speaking of the injured players, not only do we get to get into the photo, and so everybody's happy. And uh, it's unbelievable to me, you know, you heard in the Super Bowl week, that the, one of the biggest storylines coming out of the Super Bowl is about a photo. Well, there's certainly plenty of history, plenty of photos of Brett Favre having played with that team for so many years. You played with Favre and now three years with Aaron Rodgers. How, Brady, would a win on Sunday affect the way that Rodgers is viewed by those Green Bay fans? Well, obviously, Aaron right now is on the cusp of becoming an elite quarterback. He goes and wins the Super Bowl. Now he is an elite quarterback. He puts himself in the same sentence as a Tom Brady, as a Peyton Manning, and now as Drew Brees. And so going and winning that Super Bowl puts him in a legendary status. That's what Brett did. That's what sort of, you know, jump-started him as becoming an elite quarterback and being the guy that we know him to be was when he won that Super Bowl back in the mid-'90s. And the same thing will have with Aaron. He'll, he'll have a name. He'll have a street named after him by golly in Green Bay most likely. And uh, he'll be enshrined as one of the all-time great quarterbacks in Green Bay's history, and uh, he'll be known as one of the elite quarterbacks in the NFL. All right, Brady, I can't let you leave here without getting a prediction from you. Who do you have on Sunday, Steelers or Packers? I don't know. What do you think, <laughs> Michelle? I don't know what. I'm having a hard time with this one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make it a little I, fun. I, uh, tell me the reason why the Packers will beat the Steelers without any X's and O's. Well, it's, I mean, it's Aaron Rodgers. Let's, I mean, you know, we just got some talk about him. He's playing as good as a quarterback can play right now. And a great quarterback is the ultimate equalizer when it comes to any kind of, you know, football strategy because he can take care of the lack of a running game. He can take care of a lot of deficiencies in your team. He can fill in the gaps there. And he's playing at that level to where he can, you know, pretty much catapult us into becoming a championship team. And so I think it's Aaron Rodgers. Look but at obviously, that. I, say again? I was going to say, look at that being a team player. I thought for sure you'd say it was the defense. Oh, no. Well, that too. But I think Aaron, he's the X Factor in this game. I really do believe it. He's, that's how good he's playing. You know, he's the X Factor. Brady Papinga, great to have you with us here on First Take. We appreciate you having a little fun with us. And uh, enjoy the game on Sunday. Best of luck to your team. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me.